Nigerian products for exports is a key focus of this conference in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. Nigeria Export Promotion Council and its partners are aiming to expand export through promotion and production. To realize this, government is promising to ensure the removal of obstacles in the export sectors like financing export and standardization. Only last year, under the, um, <clears throat> under the Technical Committee on Export Projects, the ministry working with NEPC and other relevant ministries, departments and agencies of the government made valuable recommendations to the government on how to end the rejection of Nigeria's products in the international market. This has led to a reasonable reduction in the amount of product rejection from our export baskets. The first priority is that we must intensify our efforts to promote our products locally and internationally. This requires rapid implementation of targeted ease of doing business reforms for regulatory efficiency and transparency, along with export facilitation and increased attention to enhancing the quality and standards of our products to ensure their competitiveness in export markets. There's always been this question whether Nigeria's oil is a cross or a blessing. The country has been advised here to stop its over-dependence on oil and focus on the non-oil sector by exploring production areas for export so as to create jobs and build the economy. In order to encourage banks to adopt the use of trade finance instruments, the Council organized a technical session for scheduled officers of all commercial banks in Nigeria. In line with the community also, backlogs of export expansion grant for 375 beneficiaries were cleared. Furthermore, the Council organized its first National Export Trust Award, where exporters that have distinguished themselves in the non oil export sector were given awards in various categories. I'm glad to also inform this August gathering that the implementation of the community coupled with the novel interventions of the NEPC in various ways have significantly increased the contribution of the non oil export sector to the Nigerian economy in 2022. Permit me to inform you that for the first time, the non oil export performance grew by 39.9% in 2022 to 4.8 billion US dollars. As a legislature, more so the chair of the House Committee on Commerce, with the leave of Mr. Speaker, the Right Honorable Abbas Tajuddin, the 10th Assembly is committed to ensuring efficient legislative framework that will drive a robust climate resilient commerce and sustainably develop Nigerian economy through improved digitization, transparency, and effective data gathering in a bid to drive robust innovation in this sector. Some of Nigeria's small and medium enterprises share their experiences. The challenges are many, uh, multifaceted. One is that of infrastructure. If you go to the producing community, you know, share uh, women, long, women track long distance with the bush, pick the knot, transport it on their hamlet, but they can't, uh, on their head, by the time they come to their uh, hamlet, they don't even have a storage facility. They don't have clean water to parboil. They don't have a, a roof under which to process. So these are issues. So we recommended that we should have a common facility for the women at the grassroots. Method of exportation now, um, private. So when I have relatives who are going out of the country, I send a few of my items through to them. Because I make um, wooden work, they weigh a ton, they weigh a lot. And then having to go through the regular channels cost a fortune. So when you place side by side with what you would um, eventually get to sell the items for, it's a, um, it's a struggle to break even. At the end of this conference, Nigerians will be expecting more interventions from the government that will help to improve the non-oil sector for export. Punarman Benjamin, Arise News.